Welcome back to the channel and today I have a challenge unlike anything I think that I've seen on the workshop before this is called survive the hunt by lone WS and apparently there is going to be a room or a series of corridors here in which a bot is going to be hunting us and we have to avoid the bot while looking for five artifacts which are supposed to be paint cans and once we find the five artifacts we can escape. And uh, if we get caught by the bot, we are supposed to restart. I think there's going to be an explosion that happens when we get caught. And... Oh my goodness, the atmosphere of this thing. It's already kind of creepy. Do you hear that? I gotta turn the volume up. Okay. There's like a loud... Like, atmospheric... Uh, oh! Okay, I think I just saw the bot. I'm gonna go this way. You know, uh, Scrap Mechanic generally isn't really a scary game, but this might be the first time it's actually, like, it's actually a little bit scary. The atmosphere is really well done in here. And I'm already lost. I'm very lost, actually. What's this? Uh oh, did I just... Did I just tell the bot where I am? Hold on, where's... I don't even know what the paint can... Like, I don't even know what to look for as far as paint cans go. Like, are they just going to be sitting somewhere on the wall? Are they going to be hidden? And it's like, uh... Like, in little crevices? Like, how obvious are they going to be, you know? Oh, this is scary. I don't like these big intersections. <gasps> Oh, it's coming this way. It's coming this way. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, it's right there! Uh, I don't know what it does. I don't know how it sees. Uh, that was so close, I think. Uh, let's just go, 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 go. I don't know. I didn't hear any explosions, so I don't think we got caught. Oh, that was loud. Um, all right. I probably missed all the paint cans. That's for sure. All right. I think we're kind of far away from it now. Everything sounds relatively quiet. So, let's start paying attention for paint. <gasps> that scared me, but I found a paint can. I actually found a paint can. Uh, why does it flash like that? I wonder if there are sensors. Like, I don't know how this bot works. How does it not colliding with anything in the hallways? And I wonder if there are sensors that tell it where I am so it gravitates towards. Is that... Is that, uh, uh, stomping sound? Is that the actual bot? Like, if that... Uh, Okay, it definitely knows where I am. This thing is seeking me somehow. Oh, it's so loud. Okay, all right, we're going this way. Ah, no, stop it. <laughs> oh, look at this, this must be the exit. One out of five. I wanna see if it comes this way. Oh, it definitely, it's seeking me somehow. When I trip those alarms, that must be communicating to the bot where I am somehow. All right, but I have found, oh, there's another one. Okay, I found another paint can, and I think I just told the bot where I am. Oh, <gasps> that was near an alarm. An alarm triggered when I was at that paint can. Maybe the next time I trigger an alarm, that might mean I'm near another paint can. What does this do? Okay, I think if I just keep moving, I should stay ahead of the bot, unless I end up backtracking down a similar path without realizing it. This is pretty much a maze. Oh, it's coming this way. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna turn. I'm like getting cornered over here. I'm gonna see it on one of these. It's coming. It went the other way? Okay. Okay, I genuinely don't understand how this bot is programmed. 
And it, I don't know how it so flawlessly seems to be able to navigate these hallways. Another one. Oh, yeah, and another alarm happened. Okay, I think I may have missed some cans then when those alarms went off. Okay. What are we doing here? Wait, wait, how many was that? I don't even know how many I have now. Three or four? It's coming this way. I'm gonna try to go this way. Okay. Okay. Where is this glass paint can? All right, I'm glad, I'm pretty confident now that that uh, stomping noise is coming from the bot, so I know that if that sounds far away, I'm probably pretty safe. I'm not expecting as much to just run around the corner and see the bot in my face. Okay. So the good news is it seems like all the paint cans Oh, I've been here already. Yeah, and the alarm triggers. The alarm triggers as soon as I get to one of those paint spots. Is this the door? Three. I have two more left? Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, where am I going? Go this way. It's like right over here, isn't it? I don't know if it's going to come over to this side, or that side. Oh. Number four. Okay, now where is number five going to be? And also, I didn't hear an alarm go off when I got number four. Which is kind of concerning. Because I thought I figured it out that um, if an alarm goes off, there's a paint can nearby, but that might not be the case anymore. All right, I don't even hear the bot anymore. Like, I'm listening, I don't hear it. It's, it's too quiet now. What if, because I have four, what if there's like another stage? <gasps> oh, that scared me. It was just the alarm. That was where a paint can was. Alright, so that means the bot's probably going to be going to that area. Alright, I am literally just completely lost right now as far as where I have or haven't gone. Everything looks the same. And I don't even- I have no concept of where I am compared to the start or the finish. Come to think of it, I don't even know what the start looks like. Oh no, I've been here. See, no alarm went off there. Maybe because the alarm's already going off. Oh, this is the start. Okay, well now I know what the now I know what the start looks like. Maybe it was near the start? Okay, there's the bot. It's over there, good to know. What if the last one is right behind the start? The bot is right behind the start. Okay, not anymore. Yeah, I'm getting more confident. Could be a bad thing. Did I just tell the bot where I am? I still don't understand what those buttons are for. Okay, I, I thought I missed something there. <gasps> that was so loud. That actually made my heart jump because it was so unexpectedly loud all of a sudden. It sounded far away, then all of a sudden it sounded like it was right in my ear. Okay. Right this way. Dang it. I've been here already. Everything is the same. See, like, this is, I can't even use the right hand rule or the left hand rule for the maze because I'm not looking for the exit. I'm looking for something that could be in the center, which I might never find if I'm following the walls or the edge.
There it is. Oh, it's coming right at me. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna circle around. I feel like I've been staying too much towards the edges. I think I need to go inside a little bit more. Okay, let's go this way. Keep thinking it's gonna be behind me. I don't know where to go. Oh, I'm at the entrance again. This is rough. There's another one. All right, let's just get some distance. There is the exit. Okay. They're actually not that far away from each other, the entrance and the exit. All right, there's the bot way down there. All right, there's another. See, and then it like opens up. Like this is all just a wall here, but then it goes in this direction. It doesn't circle back though. So I don't know, I don't know what kind of method I can employ to try to cover, know what I've covered and figure out where I haven't been. I'm just kind of guessing right now. See, I just kind of went into like a dead end area a little bit. Okay, here we go. Nope. At least the flashing isn't scaring me as much anymore. Yeah, I'm back at the entrance, or the exit. Alright. Alright, it's coming towards me. I still don't know what, like, what the capture condition, like, how much it takes for it to technically have caught me. I did see some sensors on it. Oh, okay, that was actually... Oh! Now we just gotta get to the exit. Which I'm pretty sure is in this direction, where the bot is. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. Nope. Can't go that way. I have to go this way. I think it's this way. I might just be completely off base. There it is. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's so bright. Oh my goodness. This is cool. How is that built? All right, 12 minutes it took me, but I want to see what happens when I get caught. I just, I have to see what the getting caught is like. I, I, I did it successfully without getting caught. I got terrified plenty of times. All right. Now I have to put, now who's hunting who? I am hunting the bot. All right. Oh, there you are. Okay. I am curious about this to see how it's working. I gotta go intercept it on the front. I can't. Hey, I don't know how to get over there. Where are you going? Can I go this way and get in front? There we go. Oh my goodness! That was so aggressive! Am I? Oh, I'm alive because I guess there's... It's not gonna kill me, but yeah, I think that is officially... I've, uh, I've gotten caught by the bot. Look at how much damage it did! This is crazy! So here's what the map looks like. Alright, wow! That was way more obvious than I thought it was. I wasn't sure it was gonna be that obvious when the bot caught you. So yeah, I definitely did not get caught at all. But uh, so that was the, long, the survive the hunt challenge. I definitely felt hunted and, but fortunately I survived. So the interesting thing is like replaying it. I actually have no, I found one just then, but I have no idea where the rest are. It would still be just as much of a puzzle or a, a scavenger hunt as the first time I played it. Cause I have this place not mapped out at all in my head. But, uh, yeah, this thing's kind of crazy. If you want to try it yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description to the challenge pack, and uh, I had a great time playing it. Definitely a very different experience in Scrap Mechanics, so well done on that. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrap Man, and I'll see you next time. Bye.